Hi, dear pal. Welcome to this short video where we will be showing you how we can help to cultivate student self-directed learning in our assignments or classworks, especially in Google Doc, by the simple way of self-checking. In a usual assignment, we will give them questions and um, things to accomplish. However, we can further enhance self-directed learning by giving them step-by-step step what are the learning points to look out for and to further enhance their self-checking ability and therefore self-directed learning of what are important what we can do is to convert the steps into checklists or checkboxes and with the checkboxes and we teach the students as they've complete one point within the assignment or the work they can click and tick off all right until they finish the points that are required by and ticking off every single point would they have completed the assignment and therefore completed those learning points that are important for them you may even apply this wonderful self-directed checklist idea into your worksheet or any questions that you post to your students to apply your content or concept right so that they can do self-checking of their answer by adding this self-directed checklist after the answer box or the answer area. You can include the main points or the key answers that you want them to have in their answers so that they can self-check to see if they got the answer keys correctly in their answers. You can have various components in this checklist. It could be content-based, context-based, or it could be concept-based or even skill-based. Right, for your own way of designing in helping students cultivate self-directed learning. So now let's dive right in to see how we can create these checkboxes in Google Doc with the new functions of Google Doc. To be first to be notified of future useful ad tab video, please remember to click subscribe at the bottom and also click the notification bell and give us a like and uh, maybe some comments of how you can use it right then we'll dive right in the first step in our usual assignment or our even our classwork or any um, worksheet what we can do is to include learning points that we want them to master at the end of the assignment therefore it's, in, it's important or good to indicate learning points at the at beginning of the assignment right so these learning points can be content related or it can be any other skills that you want them to master in this assignment. If you would like to further enhance the self-directed learning or self-checks ability of the students, what we can do is to further change the instruction to, to enhance the students' understanding to do this step. This important step that is as they work through the assignment or the worksheet, they will self-check off or uh, click off the checklist of important learning points and last but not least is to convert the learn most important learning points the checklist into checkboxes that they can click off and that is very simple right highlight all the checklist all right and then just go up to this you can see here right as a new icon right beside all the bullet points okay you can see this ticks checklist just click on them and they will be converted into checkboxes. These checkboxes can be click off as the students complete and confirmed that they are available or present in the assignment. And I hope this video is helpful for you to cultivate self-directed learning skills in your students, right? And or even use this as a formative assessment, right, for any of your classwork. I hope to see you again. Take care.